Hey, Blue Husey here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I need to do the intro? <laughs> what? You know you love it. I am. I'm wearing a blue shirt right now, so I'm Blue Husey. Uh, I think everyone already recognizes the other person in this video. It's obviously Blue Husey. Hi. And today, what e we are gonna do is. E e e I'm gonna answer your questions together with this man over here. Blue Husey here. <laughs> Shall I just start with the first question? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's get down. The first question is from Saw Runner, and it is, what do you guys think about the John Resch community? Um, I think we can legit just go on for hours about this, but... I don't know, let's try to keep yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things with it. Will you first give your opinion, and then I'll give my opinion. About the community, I'm gonna say, like, I, I have been in multiple gaming communities. Like, I've been in the Minecraft community, I am still in the Pokemon community, and a couple more I've been in. And people always think the Jump Dash community is toxic. Well, trust me, it is not even close to other community. Like, we, we actually have it good. We have, like, a little group of people who just try to mess around, you know. But I've met so many amazing people here who are really helpful, who are really nice and kind. In my opinion, the Jump Dash community is actually a great community to be in. But people just focus too much on the negative things. Uh, that's what kind of consumes them because they focus too much on it. If they would just try to ignore a little bit more and focus more on the good things, I think we could maybe improve a lot of things in the community. Yeah, I... And I completely 100% agree with you. Like, there's a lot of toxic fan bases out there. And if you've ever played any game that has like a PvP aspect to it, like, you know, like Overwatch or League of Legends and stuff, like, even while you're playing those games, there's people that'll swear at you and call you like a bumbling idiot for not doing things properly. And like, those communities can be quite toxic. Like, Geometry Dash, in comparison to that, is actually quite a positive community. And there are a few bad apples. And a lot of people just, think those bad apples spoil the entire community, but it's totally not true. It's just when big things happen, like people get found out for hacking, people just over-exaggerate on its importance, like way too much. And it's just one separate incident, but like one bad thing happens and a lot of people get really down on the community when it's mostly positive. Like yeah. 90, I would say like 99% of the people that I meet in this community that I've talked with are really positive people. Yeah, the same for me. Like I, like, I would say that uh, in comparison to the negative people I've met, to the positive people I've met, I would, would probably be like one in, in 50 or something like that, maybe even more. Yeah. Like it's, it's not even that bad. This one is from Eternal Silence, and he says, What made you join the Jump Dresh community? What made me join the Jump Dresh community is, I'm not sure if you've ever seen that video, Eric, but me and Tosh were in the city, like we were just uh, shopping, and all of a sudden. 144 Hertz Adventures! Yes, that's it, yeah. I was playing Jump Dresh because I knew the game for like ever since it came out, basically, but I never wanted to make content around it because I was like, I'm not sure if I can fit my persona into the game like I'm doing right now. So we made that video, we made that skit. And a lot of people really loved it. Like they were, they really loved it, what I did in that video. And so it kind of already attracted me. Around like December, 2016, Tosh basically kept pushing me like, make a channel of GD, make a jump channel, make a jump channel. And I was like, sure, it will be my second channel. I'm not gonna focus too much on it. Probably some lazy content even. And I gave it a shot, made two videos. Blew up really quickly for me. And so I was lucky with that. Now this is my main channel. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, dude. Um... That's really cool, and I think the reason why you blew up too is because you you do put a lot of effort into your videos, and you have like a unique spin on what a typical Geometry Dash video is, right? Like it's it's well edited. There, there's humor in it, and uh, and and it's really unique content, right? So I think it's it's well deserved, and the community kind of welcomed your content with open arms, and so that's why you got the amount of subscribers that you did, right? But yeah, well, what made you mm -hmm. join the GD community? Uh, for me, it's because I had played the Impossible game, actually, on my channel. And mm -hmm. I played the Impossible game before the Steam version of Geometry Dash came out. And then I knew the Steam version of Geometry Dash was going to come out, and I thought, Hey, I played the Impossible game before, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to play Geometry Dash and give it a shot. Except I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm just going to do, like, these silly challenges where I try something new each time. And I wanted to challenge myself just to make uh, some kind of funnier videos. And so I did uh, challenges like hot sauce or putting ice down my shorts whenever I died. Oh, I remember uh, that. Stupid stuff, right? Like you The put crotch the cam. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, you put, like, stuff on your face as well. Like, um, what are those called? Oh, yeah, the, the clips. Yeah, the Man, clips. that video actually really hurt. Like, I had marks on my face for, like, two days after. Oh, like, I love that holy video. It was man. so hilarious. 
hilarious. I was like, Eric, what are you doing to yourself? That was so hilarious. <laughs> For the people who don't know what yeah, I'm talking was... about, I'm gonna put a clip in here right now. Oh, what the hell? I swear I'm doing so good. This is my last clip. Look at me. This is the last one. Why am I doing so bad? I was playing the game at the time like I did a typical let's play. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do the main levels and then I'm done with this game. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna touch it ever again. But like on all the comments, it was just like, Eric, play more GD. You know, there's like user made levels. And I was like, ah, maybe I'll be into it. I don't think I will too much. But then I started playing the user made levels and I was like, oh my God, there's like a whole new world here. Yeah, that, this, oh, is, right. this is incredible. And so that's how I started getting into the community. Next question is from FireEyes421 and his question is What do you do when you're bored and you cannot play John Dash or watch anime for some odd reason? Does that include hentai? <laughs> 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 oh, Eric, you... <laughs> oh my god, Eric. Uh, I think it includes hentai, yes. <laughs> Damn it! I go outside and I play Pokemon Go with Tosh. So that's, that's basically what I'm doing. I mean, for me personally, I just play lots of other hentai <laughs> games. Like, I play hentai. Uh, but I also do exercise. Exercise is like a hobby of mine. I do weight training. Wait, did you and say exercise or exercise? Because I think I've misheard Ex you. Exercise. I don't. I don't. I don't exercise ghosts. Oh, that would be pretty dope. The next question is from I am player, and he says, "What do you guys think makes 2.2 take so long?" I'm just gonna throw it in here. Rob Top's lazy. I don't have anything else. To okay. Add. Rob Top's lazy. That's what I. Do you think Rob Top watches hentai? <laughs> he most likely watched hentai, like he has rated a lot of That's anime prob levels. Probably it's probably what he's doing. Eric, I think I know a way how we can re how we can um, get 2.2 to release earlier. First, we need to learn how wow. to hack. That we need to take down hentai haven, you know, so he cannot have access to his hentai oh. anymore. <laughs> wow, I see you're a bit of a connoisseur yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who has had the most girlfriends? <laughs> Okay, I think this one's interesting. You know what? You go first on this one. Um, the thing is, like, God, I don't know if I can say some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but in between those girlfriends, you know. <laughs> you know. I think I know. You know. I think I know. You, you've just uh, spent some time with Noir, didn't you? Yeah, I spent some time watching Noir hentai. <laughs> this is a question I had a lot, so I'm not even going to specify a name, but a lot of people asked, Eric, when will you begin streaming Bloodbath? Yeah, so so right now what I've done is I've killed enough people where I filled up my bathtub with I think enough blood so I'll be able to bathe in it. But uh, I'm, I'm not, not exactly, exactly too sure when I'm gonna get my streaming software set up so I can put it in the bathroom so you can see like the corpses in the blood in my bathtub. <laughs> this video's gotta get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, next question is from Cypher PK and he said, what is Eric's worst nightmare? Oh, that's easy. Being buried alive. Really? That shit terrifies me. Like, there's a lot of ways of dying. I'm like, man, drowning would suck. Like, he didn't ask me, but I'm still gonna answer it. My worst nightmare, would, I think, goes a little bit more deep, but I think, like, losing all my friends, I, I guess, you know? Like, I, I oh, care a lot gotcha. about Oh, gotcha. Like a social you know? nightmare. Yeah. All right, the next question is from uh, someone we both know. Uh, it's from Dan's man, and he asks, mm. favorite creators? Plus reason. <coughs> cough me, cough me. <coughs> I think my creator, favorite creator right now is Jonathan GD, I believe. Like, sure, he may not Ooh. have the best skills or the craziest decorations, but his gameplay is very fun to play. He has a very great taste of music. His levels just look good. Like, usually a level in genres looks pretty repetitive from time to time, but like, Every 10 seconds feels like a different level from a Jonathan GD level. And I, that's so unique. That's so, I love that so much. Um, everyone's not going to be shocked at all when I say this, but uh, my, my favorite creator of all time is Sir Punch. Uh, I, I, I absolutely love the creativity that goes on in his levels. Uh, he has some really creative designs mm -hmm. and each level feels 100% unique. There's not a Serpunge level that I can play that feels like another Serpunge level. But uh, these days as well, like you mentioned, Jonathan GD has made some cool stuff. And also uh, Darwin these days is also one of my favorite because yeah. Darwin has really good gameplay and they always look uh, super slick as well when you're playing them. I mean, but there's, there's, these are just like a few of the ones that I really like. There's a ton of creators that I love. All right. Yeah, so this is just me. like, a little me. bit. We could talk about this for a while, right? But Dansman, you're you're good too. I love your levels. Yeah, I love Dansman. I think uh, some people like yeah. really don't appreciate Dansman enough. Like he, he works hard. He 
he works. He makes levels like every week or something like that. That's crazy. Like yeah. What's the most painful thing that has happened to you physically? I've broken, I fractured my thumb. Ooh. That really hurt. I did that when I was in elementary school. Like I, I went to catch a football, like an American football, and it landed like the tip of it landed like right on the tip of my thumb and just like shattered the bones in my hand. Ooh. That was uh that was pretty painful. And uh, then, like, oh my God. Oh, I can feel your it pain. Was... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I I know I know what my most painful thing was. I stepped on a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that, that's that's worse than anything. All right, I can feel your pain right now. Uh, I feel like there's a Lego under my foot. I really hate stepping on Legos. I did it so many times when I was younger. Uh, the next question is from Roman Mullen, and he asks, "Why does Eric wear a hat all the time?" The only reason why I wear a hat is because I have such sexy hair that if I showed everyone, like there'd be so many people. It's normally like handsome people do really well on YouTube. Like you know, you see someone, you're like, "Whoa, that guy's hair." Handsome. That guy's cool, and you know, lots of people subscribe to him. Like he's he's just a good-looking guy. Um, but for me, I'm so good-looking with my hair that if I were to take off my hat, people would just be jealous, just because I'm so sexy. Can you tell me how awkward it is to talk to Husey right now? What do you mean? I'm not even awkward at all. What, what do you mean? Like I I am Husey. I'm blue Husey. <laughs> Shut up, Barry. So, no, I'm, I'm. Although, guys, uh, let's go for a vote. Who do you like more, Blue Husey or Red Husey? No. Uh, <laughs> Eric, you just ruined my comments now. <laughs> This one is from Cherry Blossom, and she asks, "Who is your favorite game character?" This is hard. There's a lot of people I like. I don't. I don't know. Um, I really like Dante from Devil May Cry. I think uh, he's he's awesome. He's one of my favorite characters just because he's so cool. And if I had like powers like anyone, I would love to be like Dante and just <laughs> juggle people in the air with two guns, be like tick 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 tick, and jump in the air and do all these crazy air combos yeah, and stuff. Sick. Anyways, that that's just he's he's just cool. He's just cool. Uh, my favorite game character is Bodbor from Geometry. He's, he's such an amazing oh character. Oh my god. That's that's amazing. I, I like him too. He's he's so silly. And my favorite icon is the original one because it has a lot of personality to it. Like it's like a square in a square. And that's just like inception, dude. It's basically art, right? AG Fod asks Uh, you know, I'm blue Husey and red Husey's the red version of me, so. It's really, uh... <laughs> you did not just do that. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make sure to check out my friend, Blue UC, his channel in the description down below as well. You probably already know, you probably already subscribed to him, but if you, are, if you aren't already, he's an awesome guy. He makes amazing content, so definitely jump onto his channel as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, Blue Husey Power.